So in this question, we're given information about f dashed of x. It's this fraction, 2x plus 1 over root x. We're also told that f of 9 is 40. And we're basically asked to find the formula for f of x. Now let's recall the relationship between f of x and f dashed of x. Travelling in this direction, we differentiate. Travelling in the opposite direction, that's going from f dashed of x to get f of x, we would integrate. These are inverse operations. So that's integration going from f dashed of x to f of x. And that's the one we're after. We're told what f, of, f dashed of x is and we're trying to find f of x. So we will get f of x by integrating f dashed of x. Now, one thing we should mention, suppose, for instance, we have 2 of x, 2x, and we're differentiating. We know we get 2. But if we integrate 2, we don't just get 2x. We get 2x plus a constant. If you look at 2x plus 1, 2x plus 2, 2x plus 3, all these graphs, suppose there's y equals 2x plus 1, y equals 2x plus 3, they're all parallel. And they all have gradient 2. When you differentiate all of these, you end up with 2. So integrating involves this constant. You get a whole host of graphs, not just one of them. So we'll need to remember that when we're doing this. So we have to integrate 2x plus 1 over the square root of x dx. Now this is not prepared for integration. There's various methods we can use, but let's first of all, let's split the fraction. So each of the top terms is divided by root x. If you have 2 plus 4, which is 6, divided by 2, you get 3. That's the same as dividing each of the 2 and the 4 on the top line by 2. So you're allowed to split a fraction like that. So each term in the top gets divided by the root x. Root x can be written as x to the half. x to the 1 divided by x to the half, subtract the indices. You'll get 2x to the half. x to the half, 1 over that, we nip that up to the top and the index changes to negative a half. So we're now in a state where we can integrate this. We know to integrate 2x to the half, we put the 2 down, increase the index by 1, so we're adding 2 halves to 1 half, so we get 3 halves. And we divide by the new index. So it's an increase and divide. Remember the rule for x to the power n would be x to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1. We increase the index and divide by the new index. So we'll do the same to this one. We'll increase the negative a half by 1, adding 1 to negative a half, or 2 halves to negative 1 half. We'll get 1 half and divide by that new index. Now, absolutely crucial, when we go back and integrate, we must get a constant of integration. So let's try and simplify what we've got. Let's double the top and bottom here. That would be 4 lots of x to the 3 over 2 divided by, and we double 3 over 2, the 2 cancels, get 3. There's 1 and a half doubled will give you 3. So that's looking, looking slightly healthier. And let's double top and bottom here. We'll get 2x to the half over 
and 2 times a half is just 1 plus the constant. Now let's get it into a form where we're able to plug values in for x. So this first term, x to the power 3 over 2, the 3 involves cubing, the 2 at the bottom involves square rooting. Roots at the bottom, powers at the top. So it's the square root of x cubed, and we divide that result by 3. Dividing by 1 makes no difference, so we just get 2x to the half, and remember x to the half is the square root of x, plus a constant. So finally, we must try and hunt down the value of this constant, because we can use this extra information when x is 9, and we put that in for x, out comes the value nine, uh, 40. So putting 9 into this function produces a value of 40. So we know that when we put x equals 9 in this expression, we end up with 40. So 4 times the square root of 9 cubed over 3 plus 2 times the square root of 9, plus the constant, will give us 40. Now, square root of 9 is 3, so we've got 4 times 3 cubed over 3, plus 2 times 3, plus c, is equal to 40. There's three threes all multiplied together. One of them cancels, so we're left with three squared. Three squared is nine. Four nines are 36 with this. Plus six plus c equals 40. So that's 42 plus c equals 40. So we take away 42 from both sides. C will be negative two. So the question asks us to express f of x in terms of purely x. We didn't need this constant c, we've now found it. So f of x is 4 times root x cubed over 3, or 4 thirds of root x cubed, plus 2 times root x minus 2.